Hi, beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Sagittarius, I am so happy to be back. I've been away for, I counted almost two weeks without any work uh, because my boy has been uh, sick, but now he's well. I hope, I hope that we're going to stay this way now. So um, this is for the month of June, your monthly for June. And I figure we're just one week in basically in the month. So it's still worth it. It's the greatest chunk of the month still left. So let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius, in the month of June. And perhaps maybe like a week into July. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I dropped them. I dropped milk and honey. And I dropped poised. Wow. That is beautiful energy. Let's see if they want to come out again. First card out. We're going to do three initial cards here, three initial energies, and then we're just going to go deeper and deeper into those energies. And at the end of this reading, if you're interested, if you feel like this is my reading, uh, I resonate with this, I'm curious about this, I want to know more, you're so welcome to the extension. Uh, and it's a general reading, so anything and everything goes. That's half the deck. Okay, we want three cards, three energies, please. Sagittarius for the month of June. It's almost like it's playing a little bit, like it's playing tricks. There you go. That was effortless. And maybe there's some, like there's a message in there that like don't, don't um, hustle, don't hassle. Like don't don't force anything. Like don't go with anything that seems a little bit uh, hasty, or like it's a little bit too quick moving, or like just hurry to fix it. No, it's like we need to just regroup and we need to come back to together and be balanced. And then from there, effortlessly, it's just gonna fly out. And it's to the seas. It's gorgeous. Number seven. And second and third, please. Like, take take your time to get it right. Do you want just any relationship or do you want, like, the relationship for you? Does that make sense? Again, the whole deck. Regroup. Find your balance. Don't rush anything. Be focused. And there it is. Uh, fork in the road, number 13. So there's death leading to life. There's transformation here. There might be some decisions or choices to make. Like you might be standing at a crossroads, not really like where, where do I go now from here? We're going to go deeper into that. And there effortlessly. Yes, you seem to be not stuck, but you seem to be shifting uh, between worlds. Number three there. So three is all about celebration. Um, manifestation creation in between worlds is all about like seeing a little bit of the old and seeing a little bit of the new you're not fully out of the old and you're not fully into the new reality uh, but you're not stuck in between you're just seeing a little bit of both so we're starting with to the sea and I'm actually going to read out the book number seven <clears throat> and seven is a completion there's like nothing more for you to do you don't have to, a little bit annoying sound out there. You don't have to uh, get more information. You don't have to uh, have more life experience. You don't have to um, take another class. Like you, you just, there's enough information here for you to move forward is what the seven says. The seven is also support. Your angels are with you. So to the C, essential meanings of this card is being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together uh, a natural pattern of events yes a natural pattern of events that really stands out like in the in the in the way that i was shuffling like there's a natural way of unfolding rather than forcing anything or like please 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 hurry up you don't want anything to hurry up if it's the wrong result right we want it to naturally just progress and understand that being in the flow and returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, 
is the basis for, for it to naturally fall into place, right? To naturally develop. Um, the Oracle's message states, isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith. I know those are sucky words. Trust and faith uh, to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. It's very poetic, very beautiful. Uh, the relationship message states, there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. And this, I just kept seeing, like as I was reading that, there might be someone out there, like a Sagittarius, who's not in a relationship whatsoever, and you're like, I don't even have a relationship for it to mute, for it to mutually come together and blah, blah, blah. I just feel like when you don't, when you sort of surrender, if you're single Sagittarius and you want to be in a relationship, if you naturally surrender, it's not maybe natural to surrender um, because we tend to, to not surrender. But when you surrender, and I know there's the trust and faith again, it's a little bit tough to, to trust and to have faith in something that we don't see, but to start to trust that inner voice of yours that you are on the right path. And if you wish for something in particular, that is coming to you. Um, but there's something about transcending, like, so it seems like Sagittarius that you're more interested right now in having that companion that really, I mean, I usually never talk like this because I'm so much about like, you need to be your own, you're standing on your own two feet. There's no one else that completes you. You complete yourself, blah, blah, blah. Um, but today, and there's this beauty and this profoundness, I feel it's almost like you're so far beyond understanding that of course, there's not another person who can't complete me. Of course, there's not another person who really can make me happy. You're, I'm making myself happy. I'm completing myself. Like, you know, all of that, but as you know, all that, you're not seeking someone to fill a void. You're seeking, seeking someone to be sort of almost like an extension of you or, or like a, companion and they so fit they so go together with you that then this is what i like almost a little bit allergic to like you don't really know where you start and they end and i don't, I don't tend to like to say those things usually but you're so aware of your fullness of your richness of your of your completeness that we're so far beyond that, that you're like, you just really want that companionship where you literally don't know where you start in the end. There's this ball of fire, this ball of energy when you guys come together and either you have already stepped into this and it's fairly new that you then let go of any type of fear that who are they really? What can this be? Where do I fit in this relationship? Where do they fit in this relationship? Just let all of that go to your best of to the best of your ability. Just a train here. I'm just going to let it pass. Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. And so that is not for me saying like you're going to lose yourself in this this is codependency at its worst this is when you have transcended the physical form you understand the energy form of you and you understand the power when two comes together that's really powerful some of you guys are already already with this person and you're just looking to get it to like go deeper and some of you are looking for this type of relationship and it's basically here. You have to let go a little bit, go more where the flow is, follow the flow a little bit more. Um, and try not to sort of th think it out, if that makes sense. 
And then the prosperity message states, everything seems to work out when you stop scrambling and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake you up to your most prosperous potential. To get into that flow, a lot of trains here today. <laughs> I don't know what that is about. Someone going on a journey, going on a trip, or you're taking a train somewhere. And I want to have the window open because it was so it was starting to get so warm in here. Um, go into your most prosperous potential. Uh, to get into that flow, you need to address your beliefs about abundance and money. The true meaning of your uh, personal currency lies in your skills, your talents and abilities, and most important, your core beliefs. Everything flows from your inner world and is reflected in the outer one. When grateful to serve, you align your prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness. You can expect miracles. Everything you need will come to you easily. Everything you need will come to you easily. This is not a fight. This is not um, something you have to work. If you would just work harder, it's going to get there. No. This is so much about allowing the flow of things, allowing, allowing, allowing for the natural, logical journey to just unfold rather than dictating where it's going to go and maybe even canceling it if, even before it's here. Be, being disappointment before the money has even shown up. You're disappointed that it's not here yet. How can you be disappointed in something that hasn't shown up yet? Like, we just need to get you into a more of a trust and trust and believe and relieve, like relieve yourself from thinking you need to fix it in order for it to show up. It's actually quite the, the, the opposite right now. There's something in you learning that right now to just release and let go, release and let go in every single moment of whatever it is, like whether that's whether that is a new relationship coming in, whether that is abundance, uh, whether that is like prosperity, like around money, whether that is your health, a job situation, to try not to dictate how it's going to go, like in the details, but rather just saying, okay, here's... Here's where I flow the most. Here's where it feels the easiest. Here's where I feel the most content. I'm just going to continue there and let the pieces fall into place. And then we have a fork in the road, which is almost like we've already talked about. It's almost the same energy. 13, divine feminine, uh, death leading to life. Big transformation, death leading to life. So it's like you understand that the old version of you has died. Some of you might literally, I, I don't know what's up with me. I don't know, I don't know what's up lately, but I've been so into the um, near-death experiences that I'm telling the universe that I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to experience it myself. I really don't want to. Um, I'm just so intrigued for, for whatever reason. And I think I just enjoy listening to these beautiful, beautiful stories about what happens on the other side of the veil and what happens in other dimensions and have their stories be shared. Um, I just thoroughly enjoy them. But that, talk about d death leading to life. Not one single person of those that has sort of crossed over and seen, seen like what love and light can do and when you release all that fear and you come back without the fear and you come back without any pressure to be anything in particular you just know that you're here to share love and light basically is is death leading to life it's it's that time when you not one single person of them wanted to come back from what i've heard so far like not one of them when they realized that they all like oh, it's not time for you yet you need to go back it's like are you no i don't want to go back like it it's so beautiful here um but to just realize that as you come here and as you choose life, as you let the old version of you die and you transform like a butterfly, there's, there's, there is a fork in the road, but I think it's not so much, it can be decisions that you need to make. It can be like you're feeling like you have choices right now. 
I just feel like it, if it has reached this place in your life where you feel like you've come to a fork in the road or it's like I can't continue to do the things I've done in the past any longer. And I think that is the choice rather than like, should I choose this job or this job? It could show up as that. It says that. that. <laughs> it, it, I'm sorry. It could show up as that. It could show up as you think it's about you choosing this or this job or you choosing this or this experience or should I, should I go for the, this or should I not? When those things just tend to be an extension, the physical extension of something that goes on on a deeper level energetically. And I think the deeper level energetically is whether you can continue on with the old version of yourself, the old version that has really, it feels like almost literally has already died. It's like you're trying to recreate an old version of you. It's like trying to be 14, 13 years old again and, and trying on the same clothes. They're just not going to fit. They're too small. But it's like you're trying to just fit into them anyway. And you're trying to disform yourself in whatever capacity so that you will fit into something that is not you anymore. Does that make sense? So there's this, there's this real profound transformation taking place inside of yourself. And, and the, they just want you to just, I don't know, take the high road. Go where it feels easy. Go where it feels flowy. And, and let it unfold naturally. Together with the between the worlds, like I already said. It's the feeling of like you're a little, seeing a little bit of the old and you're seeing a little bit of the new. You're not fully out of the old and you're not fully into the new. Because you're just right in between. So we're going to pull a card on Fork in the Road. So we'll just clarify that a little bit here for... Sagittarius, please, for the month of June. Two of Ariel. Uh, it's important that you have balance. Working, re working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So this is the complete, like, have you seen a person, like, <laughs> he's standing upside down on one hand and simultaneously he's um, balancing this yin yang and infinity sign. Come on, camera. There you go. So, so uh, very much living on the edge, that's for sure. I just feel like you're feeling quite, I don't know. Do you have an NDA here listening to this? meaning near-death experience, like have you, it's like you're quite comfortable, that's one of the things that they say also, like that they're coming back and they're not afraid of death anymore because they've seen what's on the other side and it's nothing to be afraid of. If anything, they don't want to come back here after seeing what death means, you know? So you're comfortable there on the edge. It, it just feels like nothing really, it's so interesting because it's like it feels a little bit like you're almost teaching yourself to go with the flow. You're teaching yourself to not sort of have a hand in everything and dictate the future and try to figure it out and try to plan it with your thoughts, your physical, like to, to put a hand in everything, like you just want to have a say in everything because you feel like being in control that way, it turns out the way you want to. This is like a big thing for you to, that you're learning to sort of let go release that hand and just allow for the universe to del deliver to you or like have the universe unfold the path beautifully for you and sort of have the pieces fall into place it's a little bit tricky like where that's the progress right now that's the path to allow for things to happen naturally um however long it takes just allow for it to happen and this fork in the road here this transformation seems to be that you're quite comfortable. If I, if I didn't know any better, I would say you're quite comfortable with death. And I don't know how that sounds for, to some of you guys, but it's like, that's not the thing for you. I, I would say that that's the thing for most people. The reason we fear anything is because we ultimately fear, fear dying. We don't want to be out of money because what does that mean? We're, you know... We can't eat and then eventually we will die. We don't have a house anymore. We have to live on the streets and then we will die. Like it's, it's ultimately the death. But I don't think even that you are 
quite even respectful of it is like, and I mean that in the best way, it feels like you're quite, it's okay. However, there's something like you're balancing infinity with yin yang, like you have the old and it's a twos. It's like this, this, the balance of all balancing cards. It says it's important to have balance. Um, you're learning to have balance in your life. And at the same time, you already have it like on a grander scale than most. Does this make any sense? It, 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 <laughs> it is almost like on the, I don't know. It's like put me in a different galaxy with my star beings in, a, in a, the universe and I'll have tea with them at any occasion. I'm not scared. And if they were to, um, like, um, what is that called? Ab abduction, like abduct you. It's fine. But then it's like, put me on a, on a Tuesday in three dimensional reality and have a relationship work. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to find the balance there. <laughs> it's like, do you, does this make any sense? It's like just woo woo for you at this stage, what I'm talking about. You're trying to find balance and it's like it's a decision, this fork in the road, this decision making is like whether, it's almost like to decide if this hoopla is all worth it. And you're, you're making your way here to try to understand it. Life, try, try to understand li everyday life. In between worlds, you're seeing a little bit of both. Can we clarify the between worlds? Are you with me so far, Sagittarius? I mean, Sagittarius are usually the ones, for a while there, they were so out, out outside of the box. I just loved every single reading. So I think the people are drawn to my channel and the Sagittarius people are usually used to being outside of the box a little bit. Between worlds, why is that here, please? Is that another aerial? It was. Wow. And so nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. So this is, yeah. Sagittarius, it's almost like a, I just want to say, it's like you're come here today to, to almost like here. Is it going to be okay here on planet Earth for you? Yes. You're going to find your way and you're going to find your way home and you're going to find your way home with people you did you didn't even at this stage you didn't even know that they existed on this planet but Sagittarius you exist on this planet and I think there's someone out there that will be quite amazed that like you are you here on this planet wow that's going to be you like we saw that with um you are so understanding, like you're so far beyond under being conscious and aware. And you're, you're not seeking someone to fill your void. You're seeking someone for that wholeness and for that, that extension and understanding the power of two. And so it's going to be worth it, Sagittarius. You're going to find that person and they're going to be quite amazed that they find you, you too. And if this is money if this is health if if this is work you're going to figure it out the queen for me is all about maturity and implementing what you now know like having that i all of that life experience and all of this understanding and now implement it because what it's what is it worth if you have all this knowledge but you can't really make the 3d world work then there's no point then you just have have all this knowledge but this knowledge is now turning into wisdom and the queen is like telling me that you have now matured and you're coming into your own and you're going to have the Midas touch. You're like this close to having the Midas touch, which is like everything you touch turns to gold. You're starting to really fully grasp your ability to create. It probably has been very, very annoying and very disappointing. I felt disappointment here for before. It's because it's almost like you have the you, you know what to do and yet you can't do it. Like, what's up with that? 
it's the timing of things it's the waiting for other people to catch up with you as well but queen of ariel is like ariel is the manifester is the lover and you're becoming it i'm going to take this into the you're not going to be stuck here between worlds you're going to fully it's going to be gorgeous I'm going to take this into the extension and see what else I can find there for you. So if you're interested in this, if you feel like this is my reading, I so resonate with it or just feeling like you're called there or like I'm curious about to see like the rest of it, you're so welcome to the extension. Read about whatever choice you want to, um, how you want to get there. there. There's two choices. Read about them in the description box down below. If not, thank you so much for watching Sagittarius, uh, taking time out of your day to come here and watch these videos with me. I really, really appreciate it. Another thing that I would appreciate is that if you subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already, it really helps me a lot. Thank you so much, guys.